So hi, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here. This here is an Antica microscope slide. It is over 120, maybe even 130 years old. And uh, it shows uh, the cross section of the stem of a fern. The Latin name, the binomial name of the fern is here, Pteris aquilina, that is the name of the fern. And uh, the stipe, the transversal section of the stipe, that is uh, the stem. Um, the slide maker, Arthur J. Doherty, he passed away in 1906. He did not get very old. He was only 46 years old, um, but he made uh, quite a few slides, which are still available today. And uh, this uh, slide in particular is quite uh, pretty um, because uh, the uh, so-called the vascular tissue of, of the fern, these are the tissues, uh, the cells that transport substances up and down the plant, um, look uh, quite nice. Um, the specimen was stained uh, with carmine, uh, that is a red pigment and also malachite green. So we even have a little bit of information here about the preparation technique. Um, and also another thing that you might notice is, is that the slide is ringed here. And the ring is of course here to protect uh, the, the mounting medium and to stabilize the cover glass. But also, yeah, I think it was a little bit, uh, I've seen that several of his slides actually have this uh, nice white black uh, ring uh, pattern. So I think it's also maybe a little bit of a brand <laughs> brand sign of, uh, of his slides. So what I'm gonna do now is, is uh, yeah, show, first of all, show you a picture of, of the fern here, which I found. Um, yeah, that's the so-called the eagle fern. And, uh, yeah, here it here it is, and uh, we're looking at the cross section of uh, one of those stems here, and you can see that it's uh, it's fairly uh, yeah it's uh, it's fairly fairly large here. So let's put it under the microscope and then let's have a closer look. So this is how the stem cross section looks like uh, under low magnification using my four times objective. Uh, I think uh, plants generally have very pretty specimens under the microscope. And uh, we can see the individual cells, of course, these are the round circular structures. And then, of course, um, the whole strange, irregularly shaped uh, um, yeah, structures that you see here. What are these? Well, these are the so-called the vascular bundles. These are the cells that transport water up the plant and also sap, uh, which contains sugar, uh, down to the roots. Yeah. So you see that they are scattered throughout the cross section here um, of the stem. And uh, yeah, I think uh, when we move in a little bit, when we zoom in a little bit, uh, then we're able to see some more details uh, details here as well. Um, of course, very nicely visible of the, are the so-called cell walls, and you might notice, of course, that it looks the cells look kind of um, look kind of empty, and that's indeed uh, the case because the cross section is so thin that the contents of the cells uh, were lost. That's actually deliberately done so that you're able to see the patterns um, of the cell walls much nicer. If you were to cut it a little bit thicker, then of course you would also be able to see the cell's contents. And uh, while that also is interesting, um, it uh, does not uh, make uh, the patterns of the individual cells as visible. Yeah? So now let's have a look, uh, a closer look at one of those uh, vascular bundles that we have over here. And uh, we can already see that uh, some of the cells there, uh, let me open the condenser a little bit more here. You can see that some of the cells here are, are fairly large, like those over here. Um, you have also a fairly thick wall, it's the cell wall here. Um, and uh, this, these cells here are referred to as the xylem. The xylem are those cells that transport water and minerals from the roots up to the leaves um, of, of the fern. and. Uh, surrounding the xylem here, uh, these are the cells that transport uh, the products of photosynthesis, sugar, um, yeah, basically down to the, uh, down to the roots. Yeah? So you see that uh, this phloem, as it's called, is surrounding the xylem, which is also a very interesting and uh, um, yeah, typical structure of, of this type of firm here, fern here. You have on the outside here the so-called uh, yeah, the endodermis, which is a layer of cells that uh, essentially also surrounds uh, these, these vascular um, cells here. Yeah, and then of course here you have uh, other cells um, of, of the stem. Yeah, and this is a basic structure that is kind of repeating all over the place here. Yeah, you can see it over here as well. Yeah, and uh, I think uh, this uh, is a very, yeah, <laughs> very pretty, a very pretty specimen here. Yeah. Now, when we look a little bit um, on the outside here, then of course we can see that this is also the so-called layer of cells here on the outside. That is also referred to as, as the epidermis, uh, which is the thin layer of cells that is uh, 
on the outside um, of, of the stem. Yeah, as I already mentioned, you might have uh, noticed that uh, the cells are not green because uh, fern, uh, the stem of the fern is green and uh, therefore there's photosynthesis. So we would have expected really some chloroplasts and some green, these are the green cell organelles inside the stem of the fern, but I don't see any of those. And again, the reason is because uh, they were removed uh, during the preparation of, uh, um, of the specimen. Yeah? And this is one of the reasons why those cell organelles and those chloroplasts and the other cell organelles do not cover up um, the cell walls and therefore the patterns uh, and the arrangement of the individual cells are visible much better. Yeah? Yeah, so I think this is a very nice uh, specimen. If you are, if you want, we can actually go up a little bit further with uh, the magnification. I'm now I'm here. This is now yeah, 40x magnification. And um, everything is in bright field. Okay, um, but if we were to switch on now, so-called DIC, differential interference contrast, then um, we're able to change again. Yeah, the appearance a little bit, and then we're also able to rotate. The knob here to also change a little bit the colors because uh, the microscope also uses polarized light and therefore I'm also able to change those colors. So you see, um, yeah, plenty of things uh, to play around with. A very nice specimen. Um, I think that's all I wanted to show you for today. Just a very quick, uh, uh, quick uh, introduction uh, again into a little bit of uh, plant anatomy here as well. Um, and uh, yeah, I would like to invite you to subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. I've got plenty of more slides that I'm going to show you in the future. Happy microbe hunting as always. See you around next time. Bye-bye.